Hello and welcome to this Yellow Couch YCFT. I'm doing a weird intro today. <laughs> We're back talking about Scooby-Doo. Shock. Our fourth, Scooby fourth Scooby-Doo one. It is our fourth Scooby-Doo. And this is like the end of an era. This is Scooby-Doo yeah. and the Cyber Chase from 2001. Yes. It's often regarded as the end of an era because we have Zombie Island, The Witch's Ghost, Alien Invaders and... Cyber Chase. They are mm -hmm. often regarded... Kind of like the canon the canonical four. Yeah. Of and the director I want to thank video Matthew films. and Enrique for pointing one thing out to me when researching this. That one of the reasons these are kind of regarded as one group or one series of films is that is the last one to be done by ja the Japanese company Mook Animation. Yep. So thank you guys for pointing Thanks, that guys. out. We think another reason several key players in these stopped being involved. Uh, it was the last one for... BJ Ward to voice Velma. Yes. Scott Innes. He stopped voicing both Shaggy and Scooby. Yes. We also had, well, Velma, uh, Daphne was voiced by Grey DeLille. DeLille or Delisle? The first time. Mm, sorry if I'm getting that wrong. Yeah. Yeah. And this is the last film to be executive produced by both William Hanna and Joseph Barbera. Barbera because William yeah. Hanna died. He did. The same year that this film came out, so yeah. it is dedicated to him. So that maybe that is why it's considered the end of an era. As a lot of the key players of the even yeah the last like say the last one by Hannah and Barbera. Yes, um, it is also the last Scooby film to have a genuine supernatural entity. Yeah, as until well. two thousand eight was it? Two thousand and eight. So was for the next Scooby seven years, and that King. was yeah Scooby doing the Goblin King. Interestingly, in two thousand twelve, they brought out the first Blu-rays like HD remasters of some of the older films. And the first one was a dual pack of Aloha Scooby-Doo and Scooby-Doo and the Cyber Chase. And the Cyber Chase, yeah. So we were actually able to watch this one in HD. <sighs> Should we just say right off the bat that this is not our favourite? It's not our favourite. <laughs> we, I was sad, when I finished watching it, it's been a while since I've watched this. It's like, yeah. We're talking like well over 10 years since I watched this film. And my description was, he asked me what I thought, I was like, it's, Fine. It's perfectly fine. It's fine. <laughs> Which is not a compliment, really. The basic <laughs> plot. Scooby and the gang are visiting a friend of Fred's from college who's designing a video game based on their adventures. Yeah. They have a device, very Tron-esque, that zaps real-life things into... The video game. The video game. Yes. And a virus comes out of the machine. The Phantom Virus, who is the weakest... He, of, of the Vil four of, films, is, this is, yeah, for sure. He's not even physically that threatening. No, he's not. He looks like a lightning bolt. Yeah. That stands on tippy toe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, if you can't work out who the villain is in this film straight away, then, yeah. you know, come on, you've not watched enough Scooby-Doo. Yeah. I mean, actually, I mean, I guess what I just said there about being a supernatural entity, the virus himself is like, is, is a, a genuine... En entity but th the person behind it i guess he is you know flesh and blood he is human yeah who's manipulated the virus and whatnot um so they are zapped into they are zapped also, into the game i have actually i have an issue with the video game itself <laughs> this is coming from a gamer no, it's mainly like the game is like there's a lot there is fun to be had in the game seeing them in these scenarios like they start off on the moon then they're in ancient rome yeah fighting various different monsters prehistoric era the song is also the weakest. I I can't even remember. I can't remember anything about it. No, we get a few songs in this. And my note for that literally is weak ass song for weak montage. Ass <laughs> song for montage. <laughs> and, but the missions until the final one actually don't have anything to do with Scooby and the gang. It's just, oh, wouldn't it be cool to see them in, in prehistoric space. times? Yeah. Uh, as, as, let's see Fred as a gladiator. Yeah. It's, let's see. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Fred, uh, Daphne fighting a samurai, which interesting because this is around the same time as the live action movie. Oh, Both yeah. films showing Daphne similar with martial arts skills. I, th I thought that was an interesting comparison. Well, I one of my biggest complaints of this film is I think Daphne's done a little dirty in in this. She one. is. She kind of reverts back. If we're if we're going off our original, word, the original film is Daphne. Zombie Island is Daphne's film, which is Ghost is Velma's. Alien Vader's is like Shaggy and Scooby's. This film is Fred's, and that's at a push because fred has some great moments in this fred is still really fun but daphne reverts a lot back to how she was in the original series i even think she's kind of worse than she is in the original series i mean 
there's a scene where she's looking at herself in a carnival mirror. You know, like one of those mirrors and it distorts your image. Yeah. It makes you look even, you know, thin, fat or whatever. She's like, look at how fat I am. We get a revert to this, you know, very vain Daphne. Yeah. Um, I yeah, don't but... mean, yeah, she wasn't even that bad in, in the 69 original series. No. She's very self-absorbed with her appearance. There's and... a lot of fun things. Like, I know they had some issues with getting outside writers to do it and a lot of things that were written were quite complicated to do. I think this one has the longest credits for animators. Yeah. There's a lot... And some of the camera movements they wanted to do, I, I always think when it shows them running from different angles, it always looks a bit weird. I think at the time it was quite complex to try and do on yeah, the budget that they had. We we also get a lot of very overt... Well, I think because we'd seen the film quite recently, so perhaps it was still fresh in our mind, but there was just so many direct nods to witches' ghosts to the point where it even feels like they just outright just took scenes. Took scenes. You know, I don't a, know if it's a reference, like when Scooby and Shaggy are eating in the diner. In the cafeteria. Very much feels like the, the diner scene from which yeah. is ghost. There's even some of the same background characters. The, I don't know if that's just a reference or a reused asset. I, it would be would be a callback to the original series using it reusing is. assets. It's like they're, it's a bit where they're just eating you know, frantically and everyone's watching them in horror The and music's disgust. the same. The music is exactly the same as it is in Witch's Ghost. Yeah. So I don't know if that's the writer's just being a bit starved of ideas. <laughs> I don't know, yeah. but there's a bit of a... But that the, was very noticeable. The biggest pull of this film is that the characters interact with the old version of themselves. It's the nostalgia that it the plays The video off. game versions of themselves, which, fair, they, it does instantly become a bit more interesting then because each level they need to get the Scooby Snacks yeah. to move on to the next level. And they meet them like, oh, we know where they are. We just never... Don't bother because we, we like it would, here. We just, go, we just go back to the beginning of the game. Yeah. And it is cool to see them we see Daphne, Fred, and Velma in their original costume. Velma's costume basically hasn't changed. She doesn't have a joke about saying, oh, she hasn't seen our fashion change. It's like, you basically look the same. Yeah, it's, I think the only difference is the socks. Socks. Socks <laughs> and the cute color. Shaggy is in his red shirt. Yeah. Which, I get they changed it up because Shaggy has been seen in a red shirt before. but and never blue pants. And blue pants, but never with the original gang. No. That was always on the separate Avengers. They give Scooby a red collar, which I can't. I think that's just a way to tell them apart because I can't remember Scooby ever having a red collar. I think he has one potentially in Boo Brothers, but I can't fully remember that. I might be wrong. Yeah. He has worn them in the past. And so the film kind of builds up to this meeting. Yeah. But it doesn't really go anywhere. Personally, no. I get no. it's quite it's cool to see, but then they don't do enough with it. And then when we they go to the carnival to get the Scooby Snacks, they're they encounter some of their famous monsters. They do. Kind of like... Yes. I it, don't understand it, why they picked the monsters. They, it's a strange selection. The, the best choice they have there is the creeper. Yeah. Like, it was cool to see the creeper again in the tar monster. Yeah. But then we have Jaguaro. Ja yeah, we have Don't old Iron Face as well. To an extent, but he's still a bit of a weak one. And uh, The Gator Ghoul. I do have a soft spot for the Gator Girl. I don't remember the Gator Girl. I, I do like the Gator Girl. But Jaguaro and Old Iron Fist. I, why didn't they go for, like, you know, the Phantoms or. Uh, Minor 49. Minor 49. The, or the Captain the Cutler. Circus Clown. It's strange. This is actually something they ended up doing in the second live action one. Yeah, Monsters they did. Yeah, they, and they them back. I think they picked better villains. I just think some of the ones it's they picked a, felt a bit weak. Yeah, my initial reaction was. Wait, who's. who's, who's which Jaguaro? one's that? <laughs> yeah. yeah, who's Jaguaro? I do not remember that episode. Yeah, at least the Creeper. He literally just, you can only say creepers. Oh, thanks for reminding me who you are. Yeah. Creeper. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I did really enjoy seeing that again. Yeah, that was that was fun. Um, I was expecting to be hit a bit harder with the nostalgia, nostalgia, but I really wasn't. Yeah. There is a very sweet moment near the end where the real gang need to leave the game. They're about to leave the game. And the video game gang are like, no, stay, stay for a bit longer with us. And Velma says this line where she says to her old her old self, sorry, but we have to go. And I just, it's a very sweet line, very simple line, but I just thought, oh, yeah, you guys have got to go. Scooby, Scooby's got to leave. That was like a nice, I don't even think it was intended to be very nostalgic, but just that line of sorry, we have to go. It's not, our, it's our time, our time is up. Yeah. That was that was quite sweet. It feels like the this film feels like an ending. Yeah. In that one scene. It does. It does. Um, There's a really weird post credit scene that I'd never seen before. I'd never seen that either. It was so bizarre. It's like a 
<laughs> interview with the cast, but as playing their themselves. Characters. Yeah. Yeah. And they all talk about what their favorite bit of shooting the cyber chase was. And so Velma says, Oh, I loved being in the prehistoric era. Daphne enjoyed. And it shows a load of stuff of them trying to tame the woolly mammoths. Yeah, it was so bizarre. It was like, it was fun, I guess, to watch, but it didn't also need to be there at the same time. It was time. really weird. It it's was like, a bit strange. They could have put. Took that animation time could have went into stuff. Yeah. To fill out the movie. So, the movie's fine. It's <laughs> keep coming back to it's, that way. It's that was just my perfectly reaction. Perfectly like, fine. It's perfectly fine, and I well, I gotta guarantee it's not the worst. But for me, it's like Zombie Island is the best. Oh, it's the peak. And it's then the pinnacle for me, it's like, of they just slowly well get worse. One of my biggest issues with this movie is the other three films, the previous three, the bad guys are integral to the storyline. Yeah. In their own way. So in uh, Zombie Island, you know, we spend time with Simone and Lena who own the plantation. Like we get to know them as characters. Yeah, the zombies um, are even actually more complex than you think. Yeah, and we see them a lot throughout the film yeah. as well. Like there's a deepening mystery there. Who the hell are these guys? In Witch's Ghost, we... There's grow, a lot of twists and turns in that one. We grow to spend time with Ben Ravencroft. We trust him because he's shown to, you know, he's on the side of Velma and the gang. There's a potential love interest with him and Velma. It's like, yeah, yeah, we trust him. You know, even the three cosmologists in Alien Invaders, okay, we start getting a bit on the weaker side now, but the gang do interact with them quite a bit. Yeah. You know, they have like deep, more sinister motives. It's like we almost kind of forget with, about the who, Phantom Virus. Who is Bill? Who the hell is this guy that likes baseball? It's like oh, we spend no time yeah, with him. No time. Literally he's he spends, in two scenes. He spends no time with the gang. No. But also... His motive for doing this is because he was jealous that his professor was going to pick a different yeah. um, game for the, for a prize. It's like, well, hang on, what about Zombie Island? You know, we had cat creatures that were, you know, this was their only way to survive by luring yeah. victims. In. We have zombies who are trying to warn the gang, but who at the same would, yeah. time are scaring them because they're fucking zombies. Yeah, it's, you know, witch's ghost, we've got this man who wants to take over the world with his twisted sister. <laughs> Twi- his twisted ancestor. His twisted who's, ancestor. The same time the, she's then who like, so evil. No. <laughs> yeah, you know, and, and the three cosmologists in Alien Invaders, they found this mine full of gold and they're willing to kill people to protect it. Yeah. Those are strong motives. And this this one's th- just a jealous university student. <laughs> Yeah. It got really weak, I think, there. That was really noticeable for me. It's yeah. Like, oh, it's you. <laughs> it's like, I think I remember, like, as soon as I met, I was like, oh, I just remembered who this is. Yeah. And yeah. then the hints towards it are like, oh, God, it's so. Very obvious. on the nose. Yeah, it's very on the nose. We get a lot of fake laughter in this film that I noticed. Yeah. A lot of, you know, like, meant to be funny scenes and the gang like, ha 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 ha. Isn't that so funny? Isn't that so nice? Oh, is it just, are the scenes just not that funny? I think, yeah. It's like, it's like the film is trying to make you feel like you should be laughing along with them. But it it was just, I, it was so excessive. I made a note of it. (laughs) (laughs) There was a lot of fake laughter in this film. I don't know if this is an unpopular opinion about this not being a good film, but. Look, it's, I don't know if I'd go so far as to say it's a bad film. It's, it is the weakest so yeah. far that we've seen. I'm very seen. curious to see if Return to Zombie Island is weaker than this. Yeah. I mean, at a push, would you say it's Fred's film? I would arguably say it's none of theirs, and that is another thing that is no. noticeable Fred to me. Fred has some good leadership moments. Yeah. That's about as far as we can stretch. Personally, I guess the idea of bringing in the past villains, I think Monsters Unleashed did better and we know that's not a good film yeah <laughs> it's a yeah, fun film but it's not a good film but their confrontation with the monsters is pretty pretty iconic yeah. as well because we get Captain Cutler in that one don't we I think yeah we I get Minor 49er I love Captain Cutler oh yeah Minor 49er yeah that Tom old monster again. guy yeah the yeah. pterodactyl ghost or whatever I think that's what the pterodactyl called. ghost yeah it's a good idea Cyber Chase um... it's, it feels like Considering they brought out a video game, this film was made to sell a Scooby-Doo video game. Yeah, 100%. Like... I do appreciate how the four films are very different. You know, we're in the bayous of Louisiana in one. We're in New England in in another one. We're in the Nevada desert near Roswell in the third one. And now we're in, you know, this very digitized video game. I feel like... It's like, fair play for doing something a bit different, I guess. All the films, like Witches Ghost especially, was like... 
a commentary on you know people being accused of witchcraft we have alien abductions and the, like how those people are perceived yeah and not, there's no deeper meaning to this film no it's just a guy who's who's jealous and wants some cash yeah that's it it's that is know, it we go from three very strong motives and sinister motives you know Two. really kind of supernatural in in some instances to that <laughs> which is very very much back my to basics my biggest issue with the phantom virus is he has no feet no he stands on tiptoe yeah so to me like when he walks away run away it's like <laughs> it's and like it's, this is the most it's fun. like watching Mr. Krabs in uh, <laughs> yeah, Spongebob walk away it is just a poor design I'm not intimidated by this guy and he can be very easily defeated by a magnet as well yeah which they all have <laughs> It's like once it, I don't know why it bothers me so much when they go up to me and they see someone in the batting cage which if you haven't worked out who the villain is by this point come on yeah. and it's like he's in shadow like oh that guy's redoing it turns around and he suddenly starts glowing and Tim's like alright this guy literally emits light he's a lightning bolt I don't believe that he can be cast in shadow like he was <laughs> yeah. it just really I know I'm talking about reality We're in this video bit, game but yeah. yeah it's um... I don't know it's fine it's fine. I mean, this is not a film. I, to be fair, even when I was little, it was never my favourite. No. I, d I remember watching it, but I always... It was the previous three that I would always go back to. Yeah, and I think in, I'm the same now. I'd rather go back to the previous three. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It has merit in some ways. You know, like I said, it's a little bit different from the others. They all have very different settings. It's... it's Yeah, it's the weakest. It's fine. <laughs> Is that what I have we're the tagline for this. Video? I have the tagline for this. So, Scooby Doo in a Cyber Chase. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> so, wait, I'm sorry if you really like this. Do you guys film. agree? Can, Do you disagree? I can get Where why people can get on fun this? from this film because they are in very like, zany and wacky situations. I for always, me, it just yeah. it isn't Scooby Doo. No, and look, I I love hanging out with Scooby Doo in any go. iteration. Well, for the most part, I love I love the gang. Um, but yeah, this is just not a film I ever liked as a kid um, that much, and it's not one I will return to very often. Yeah, I'd much rather see them put up against zombies and witches and yeah. aliens. So, the next Scooby Doo video we'll be doing is either I haven't we haven't decided yet. I say I, I feel like I'm the driving force of what the mm -hmm. next two. It's either going to be the live action film, the live action movies, or. Yeah. Return to Zombie Island, which neither of us have seen. No, we don't. I don't want to do this film. <laughs> you I know we have to, but I'm so not looking forward to it because I know we're going to be so disappointed. Well, how can we be disappointed when we have such low expectations? Because I, it's Return to Zombie Island. We know it's going to be worse than what we expect. I know plot points of it as well. I oh. know certain plot Ooh. points too, but there's so much unexplored territory in Scooby-Doo oh, as there well. Is. But that, that, it's one of those two. It's good. So do you want to get the one that we're going to we aren't excited for out, out the, the way. way, and then because we do have fun memories of the live action. Oh, I like both the live action movies. Yeah. I, I I really so really do. They're the ones that are going to be in the in the works of the the coming weeks. Yeah, yeah. So we, yeah, this one it's it's fine. It's fine. This one is well. This video kind of marks the end of the uh, the director video era for us, doesn't yeah, it? For the, a bit of the that those are initial four yeah. films. The end of yeah. William Hanna and Joseph Barbera yeah. together. Yeah. So yeah. So, so yeah. It's not the end of our Scooby Doo. It's not the end of our Scooby Doo journey. It's the end of like, it's the end of your original journey we set out to do, which we do a, these four films. End of a chapter. We we'll spent more time talking about this than we have the actual film. <laughs> oh God! Yeah. <laughs> I'm we... trying to pad pad the video. Uh, <laughs> like, if you liked it, we, we aren't discouraging anyone who actually. We don't want to disrespect anyone who actually does it. I can see how people no. can have enjoyment from this film. Just for us, it didn't land. No. Even as children, it didn't land for me. No, I, I feel like most people will be on par with with what we're saying here. I don't think anyone can technically disagree that Zombie Island of the Four is Isn't the best. technically the better film mm. of, of all of them. But, you know, if Cyber Chase was the first one you saw, if that was your first foray into Scooby-Doo, then, you know, sure, you'll enjoy it. You'll always have that bit of nostalgia. It's the weakest one. Mm. That's just bottom line. Yeah. So on that note, thank you for watching. Yeah. Thank uh, you if you guys. did like it, let us know. Let us know what your favorite is. Even of the ones that came after this, what is your favorite Scooby Doo animated yeah. film? 
We'll throw specials in there as well because there's a lot of specials in the oh. end. If, if you want to include some specials, what is your favourite iteration of Scooby-Doo outside of the series? Yeah, hit us up. And also yeah. let us know which ones you'd rather us do. I can't imagine yeah. Return to Zombie Island will be popular. <laughs> Depends, like, if they really want us to watch a film. That if you want to see a shit like. all over a film, then we will do it. Because <laughs> we don't do a lot of films that we don't like. No. It's like, why... Seriously, why would we? We watch films that we enjoy. Why would I actively watch a film I don't want to watch? Well, this is the thing. I th- what, it could go the other way. We might end up actually really liking <laughs> Return to Zombie yeah. Island. You never know. You never know. Right, guys. We will see you next time. Okay, bye. Goodbye. <laughs>